OnePlus has officially revealed a 8T launch date which is on October 14th. First let's discuss on Oxygen 11 OS installation and then go to OnePlus 8T. OnePlus has released Oxygen 11 OS beta version earlier this month. Let's see the installation process. The download link is in the description. Before going to the update, keep it in the mind that you will not lose any data for the upgrading, but to revert back to Oxygen OS 10, you will lose the data. So I recommend taking a backup before upgrading. Download the file. Go to the file manager and open the file and rename it. Just remove the dot jar here. Go to settings, system and system updates. Click on settings icon on top right and select local upgrade. You will see the oxygen OS download file here. Select the install. Let's discuss about the pros. It's a pretty good UI. Looks like Samsung One OS, bigger font, weather widgets, a new updated calculator UI and so on. Handling recent app has good thumb reachable area. Almost all the UI has within the greenery which is thumb reachable area. Cons, some bugs need to be fixed anyway it has very less bugs. I saw video recording failure after recording is done, pops up an error after recording and video is not recorded. Overall, the Oxygen OS is awesome with limited bugs. OnePlus has officially revealed 8T launch date on 14th of October with screen size of 6.55 inch, refresh rate of 120 Hz, screen to the body ratio is 91.9%. Seems like it is not a curved edge display. OnePlus 8T display takes up more space than recently launched OnePlus 8 Pro. Since it is a 65 watt charging, which is very faster than the previous wrap and dash charge. But 8T has 3000 more coming up with a smaller battery because of its first 65 watt fast charger. Some sources say that it charges 0 to 100% in four. However, we might need a bigger battery with 30 watt rather than 65 watt small battery. Processor is yet to be revealed. I'll keep you posted for further updates.